there are three things uh, that I would consider. One, the, f- the uh, dramatic efficacy. So use it on, uh, to try it on anybody who has not responded, number one. Number two, though, don't wait until the patients have not responded uh, to four or seven medications. Use it earlier. And generally speaking, uh, neurologists and epileptologists have a good feel for whether a patient is going to have a refractory epilepsy or not early on in the epilepsy career of the patient. So uh, if you've failed two medications, the likelihood of you responding to a third medication is very low. So it makes sense to use uh, a cenobamate after you fail two medications, for sure. It'd be, it should be the third medication of choice if you're going to fail two other medications. Moreover, you also have a pretty good idea whether a patient's going to follow the path of refractory epilepsy after they fail the first medication. And the, re- the, the, the two guidelines so that give you an indication, not guidelines, but two, two uh, guiding uh, principles that give, uh, that give you an indication whether a patient is likely to uh, have refractory epilepsy early on in that course of uh, the disease. Uh, number one, whether they have failed the first anti-seizure medication because of lack of efficacy. If they failed it because of lack of efficacy, the likelihood of response to the second medication is low. If they have failed the first medication because of side effects, the likelihood of responding to the second medication is reasonably high. So if you fail the first medication because of lack of efficacy, I would suggest go to Cenobamate. Second indication is the frequency, or as we call it, density of seizures before you start the treatment. Patients with high seizure density are likely to have refractory epilepsy. So again, if you've got a patient uh, you're a general neurologist and uh, you have a patient who's had uh, a dozen seizures since uh, six months uh, or 12 months uh, and they failed to respond to the first medication, I'd go to Cenobamate. So don't use it only late uh, in the patient's career, but use it early. It can be used as monotherapy. Uh, the, uh, generally speaking, I think many of us would not use it as monotherapy as the first monotherapy because the titration is uh, long. The titration is very similar to the titration of lamotrigine that all neurologists are familiar with, and for the same reason. Uh, there were uh, three cases of DRESS, drug reaction with eosinophilia and uh, systemic symptoms, amongst the roughly first 950 indiv- individuals exposed to uh, uh, cenobamate. All those individuals were started at a dose of either 50 milligrams or higher, one of them was started at 200 milligrams, and they were all titrated uh, at uh, intervals of one week or shorter. Uh, and so because of that, the large safety study that I mentioned was designed to see whether if we follow the pattern that we follow clinically with lamotrigine, namely start with very low dose and increase the dose very slowly, the risk of dress may be mitigated. And it turned out that when uh, that study was done, for the study with 1,340 patients, open-label safety study, that started at uh, the uh, dose that's now clinically indicated starting dose, namely 12 and a half milligrams per day, uh, and it, uh, titrated it in the way that's now in, uh, indicated for clinical use, namely uh, every two weeks up to 25 milligrams, then 50, then 100, and so on, with no shorter intervals between uh, dose increase than two weeks. There were no cases of dress. Uh, and uh, the, uh, there have not been, to my knowledge, reports of dress since the medication was commercially uh, launched. Uh, that's now about two years. Uh, and there have been roughly 25,000 patients exposed to it globally. Uh, so uh, uh, it seems that uh, this low dose, slow titration uh, is indeed the way to go. But because of that, I would not use uh, cenobamate as the first medication because if you can use uh, another medication that has uh, either no titration like Breviact or very short titration like Aptium or uh, uh, any number of other medications, then why uh, try medication with uh, uh, with uh, long titration? That said, uh, one of the studies, the, 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 that efficacy of analysis of that uh, safety study, also showed that you have efficacy with cenobamate even at the low dose. So at the four weeks of uh, treatment, when the patient had only been on 25 milligrams as the highest dose for two weeks, the median seizure frequency reduction was about 48%. Uh, 
nevertheless, uh, uh, to answer your question a little, little more briefly, use it. Use it in refractive patients. Use it early in patients uh, who have not responded to one or two medications. So that's for the efficacy part. The side effect part uh, is also important. So uh, the main side effects uh, that uh, Sinovimate has the potential for are the usual ones, dizziness, somnolence, uh, fatigue, and then the side effects that are common with sodium channel blockers, ataxia, diplopia, and so on. They can occur, uh, they can occur uh, and sometimes be quite pronounced. So you should be aware of them. The third part is that, the side, that there's interaction, drug-drug interaction between uh, sonobamate and other medications, which predictably can increase those side effects. And uh, neurologists should be aware of that. The uh, reason for the increase, potential for increased side effects is the effect of sonobamate on the uh, metabolism of some of the other medications that we use, number one. And number two, the pharmacodynamic interaction between one sodium channel blocker, which is uh, what sonobamate is, although the mechanism of sodium channel blocking is different from the uh, customary uh, one that, we, uh, that most anti-seizure medications have, and other sodium channel blockers. So in terms of the drug drug interaction, be aware that certain medications may lead to early pronounced side effects, the dizziness, the somnolence, the fatigue, the nausea, the diplopia. The medications that are most uh, likely to cause that are clobazam because of pharmacokinetic interaction. So excopri uh, blocks the metabolism of clobazam's active metabolite, Clobazam is metabolized in two steps from clobazam to an active metabolite called endosmethyl clobazam, which is then metabolized to an inactive metabolite uh, by an isoenzyme called CYP452C19. Sinopamate blocks that uh, isoenzyme to C19, and that results in accumulation of the active clobazam metabolite and potential for toxicity. Uh, and remember that cenobamate has a long half-life, 50 to 60 hours. It turns out that this active metabolite has a long half-life of about 72 hours also, so the, the side effects may be pronounced and they may, long, they may be long-lasting. So think about that, and if you've got somebody who's on high dose of clobazam, you might consider uh, reducing the dose of clobazam early on, even as you start uh, uh, cenobamate. Uh, other medications in the same category include phenytoin and phenobarbital for the same reasons. Of course, we use them less in, uh, in the West than uh, some of the other medications. Uh, and then pharmacodynamic interaction it, uh, affects proper, most severely Vimpat, which is a commonly used medication. Uh, and the, 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 these side effects, again, dizziness, uh, blurred vision, nausea, so somnolence, ataxia, can be severe, can occur early on. So with, if you've got somebody on Vimpat relatively high dose, higher than 400, milligrams a day, be prepared to reduce the dose uh, even as you start Cenobamate. So those would be the three main messages. Uh, one, very effective, use it. Two, be aware of the side effects. Three, be aware of the fact that the side effects may be compounded by drug-drug interaction with other medications. And if that happens, reduce the dose of the other medications, not of Cenobamate, to uh, get through, uh, through the side effects. And that's a little different from what we normally uh, advise, patient, uh, advise. If you've got a new medication, you, you have side effects, you normally stop the new medication. In this case, we would suggest that if you have uh, Cenobamate on board and you have side effects, don't stop Cenobamate, but uh, reduce the dose of other medications.